Hi guys, it's Dita. Welcome back to my channel. I have this thought about taking one thing, cardigan, blazer, booty, and styling it five different ways. And not just five different ways, but for five different events in life. I think it's going to be really hard to take one thing and style it um, for different life events, but I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And so I'm going to start a new series called One Thing Five Ways. So the five lifestyles that I'm going to be working with are casual, business casual, clubbing, cocktail and special occasion or holiday. When I think about casual, that's kind of self-explanatory, just something that you would throw on to scoot about town, running errands, going to the grocery store, going to the movies, hanging out with friends. When I think business casual, I think working professional, more conservative, more muted colors, and put together, but still more relaxed than, say, wearing a power suit to work. Clubbing, I think it's going to be hard. This is a clubbing or girls' night out. This is where I would think of donning something a little bit sexier, a little bit more eye-catching, maybe even showing a little bit more skin. So for the cocktail or dinner category, I'm thinking something that you would wear to go to a cocktail party, maybe a holiday office party, a high school reunion, or even a first date. So I'm thinking something a little more dressed up, but not stuffy and also very put together. The last category is the special occasion slash holiday category. And this is where you get to dress up, um, where you get to be a little bit more glam. And this is also a category where I think being playful is appropriate. So using bold colors, bold fabrics, a lot of sparkle and glitz, dripping in jewels, that kind of thing. So those are the five categories. And the first thing that I'm going to try to style in five ways is a cardigan. I will also have a corresponding blog post where for each of the five lifestyles, I will choose a cardigan that fits those lifestyles and snap a couple of pictures talking about the th kinds of things that you're looking for, depending on what you're going for. That will be much easier to do, I think, but I think it'll still be fun. So head over to the stylesynonym.com to get some cardigan ideas. So the first item that I've chosen to challenge myself in styling five different ways is this cardigan that I'm not going to be able to show in the frame. It's this oversized long black cardigan that comes down below my hips. It's a pretty casual cardigan that I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's by BP and it's really lightweight. So I'm going to try to style this in a casual way for a business casual to go out clubbing for a cocktail or dinner party and for a special occasion or holiday. So if you're interested in seeing if I was able to do this, then stick around. So this is outfit number one, casual. This one was easiest for me to style. And I've just got on this tie-dye tank top over some denim effect high-waisted pants. These are some of my favorite pants in my wardrobe. I'm doing some print mixing with the uh, tie-dye and the striped denim effect and kind of making the outfit more cohesive with the black from the cardigan, pulling out the black from the shirt. And I feel like the white in these shoes pull out, there's no actual white in these pants, but um, because of the way the stripes are laid, um, you kind of get a little bit of a white effect. The lighter blue kind of comes off as a little, a little white, and so I feel like the shoe kind of pulls that out. Anyway, this is an outfit I would wear on the daily easy, casual, a little bit of spunk to it. So this is outfit number one, casual. So the second look is business casual. So this is for the working professional. And what I've done, got in closer, is that I have taken the cardigan and fashioned it into a little bit of a blazer type feel by folding down these little lapels and cinching it so that it stays closed. I've just got a simple gray tank under this, but you could wear this with whatever work appropriate shirt you desired. Um, and then I've just got this waist belt here. This one's a little 
fancier. I wouldn't feel uncomfortable wearing this to the office, but you could do something that's a little less ornate um, to cinch this together. And then I've paired it with a pencil skirt, which is always appropriate for a business setting. Um, and then I'm wearing these tan colored heels. They're not kitten, but they're not too high, so you can wear them all day. They're probably about two inches. And yeah, I just really like this look. And I'm carrying this bag. This bag is by San Lorenzo, Italy. Kind of looks a little briefcase-ish. I actually got this in a bookstore, but I just kind of felt that this completed the look. So yes, this is the outfit number two, business casual. This is the clubbing outfit and what I've done with the cardigan is instead of having it sitting squarely on my shoulders, I've got it um, tipped more towards the back you can see there because what I wanted to do was create this nice open v-neck to show off this asymmetric bralette um, and I've got it pinned here in the center you can pin it lower if you want to show more belly you can pin it higher whatever you want so I've just got it pinned at about the my natural waist and I've got on some strappy heels just to rev up the sexiness of the outfit and I am carrying this clutch. This clutch is by Marie Turner and then I've just got on some dangly earrings. So this is the clubbing outfit. I don't think it turned out too shabby. So this is the outfit I've put together for a cocktail party or say an office holiday party and I've chosen this copper colored dress that sits just above the knee, which I think is perfect length for cocktail party type environments. And what I've done is that I've cinched it at the waist with a small belt and I've kind of bloused the top over, um, over the top of the belt and also bloused the sweater over the top of the belt to sort of make a little bit of uh, an effect that this is all one piece. It's a little, I'd have to futz around with this a little bit more to get this to lay exactly how I want it, but you get the idea. And I've just paired it with some fun jewelry. I think cocktail parties are a great time to whip out some of that really fun costume jewelry. And I have got some tights on, so this makes it great for the fall. And then some black um, slingbacks. So. So yes, this is the cocktail party outfit. This is the last outfit. This is the outfit that you'd wear for special occasions. So say a wedding or a fancy dinner party or a fancy holiday party. Um, and so what I've done is that I've worn the cardigan backwards and I have it pinned with a brooch. So it creates this backless top and I hope I have the bra arranged. I'd, I'd wear it with um, a bra with a pretty strap that I wouldn't mind showing. Um, and I've got it paired with this flouncy skirt that I've had for years and years and um, some strappy wedge heels that I really love that I've also had for years. And I've paired it with this fun little party clutch and some chunky statement jewelry and uh, put my hair up and yeah, this is the special occasion outfit. This was probably the second hardest outfit for me to create after the clubbing outfit. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. That was a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that, but that was very challenging to come up with how to style that cardigan in five different ways. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and maybe even got some ideas as to how to wear some of the things in your wardrobe in different ways. Be sure to read my corresponding blog post where I will take five different cardigans to match whatever lifestyle we're going for. If you haven't already, please subscribe and help me reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm getting 
pretty close. Um, I don't know where I will be by the time this video goes up, but that is very exciting. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very, very much. I really, really appreciate the support and the dialogue that I've had with people. It's been really, really fun. I've met some, met some really fantastic people on here. I already have ideas of what I'm going to style next, but if you have any ideas of something that you would like me to choose and style in five different ways, then let me know down below. Otherwise, have a good day and we will see you in the next one. Peace, Yens.